Ladies and gentlemen, today we have something pretty dang crazy to go over, and that is another insane world record established here in the Brawl Stars community. This time, in my opinion, one of the most crazy and probably one of the most impressive I've seen thus far, because this world record is the highest total trophies achieved on an individual brawler here in Brawl Stars history. Bagel's epic grind to 3,000 trophies on B. So if you guys are excited, let's get straight away into it. Here we go! All right, everyone, so once again, starting things off over here on Starless Pro, the world record category, and if we scroll all the way down to the epic brawlers, we see bees. Bagel has 2,878 total trophies at the point that I'm recording this video. When you guys see this video, he might be close to 3,000 or already achieved it. That's his goal that he's setting out to get, and he's really determined to get it. But if you take a look at all the other records here in the game, there's nothing really close besides um, the Colt grind going on right now and the three other teammates here. So Patchy, Toast, and M's at 2,473, but I believe they're going to stop at 2,000. 500 so it's pretty dang insane to see these brawlers getting this high up in trophies 2878 guys things get very hard once you get past rank 35 1250 so i can't even comprehend how difficult this is and we do have some gameplay that we're going to be covering showing you guys how bagel has managed to get this high already so let's get straight away into the games so everyone starting things off over here on forsaken falls he has it titled very aggro games so I believe he gets a ton of kills, taking out that Brock right off the get-go. Right now, B, I would say probably one of the better game modes you can push her in is Showdown because of that honey coat. Anything, like I've said previously on my channel, anything that can save your life in Showdown is ideal. It's amazing. <laughs> so one-shotting that crow, it's bizarre to see. My goodness, what is all this one-shotting nonsense? Did I forget how OP B is? And I wonder what gadget Bagels is using. Okay, using the super, taking down the Edgar, and now Bagels has four power cues. He is indeed playing very Edgar. I believe he has all the kills besides one. He's got four kills so far. What a freaking madman. Okay, he's using that B gadget. Looks like he's pretty decent at using it. Getting real nice and close, damaging the Edgar, and taking him out easily. I think he's pretty, pretty stacked right now. Whenever a B can manage to get like five power cubes like this, this is a dangerous brawler. B can hold her own at any power cubes um, up against any brawler because of the damage output. It's the way you typically want to play with B is disregard the bra uh, the actual boxes and just go for the power cubes. But of course, on this map, we don't have brawl boxes. So getting a few other kills. It is rare to have seven power cubes <laughs> on this map. What a freaking madman. So seven power cubes. Who's left? I believe... They're just camping. Yeah, that Lou, we saw him earlier on. <laughs> I guess that is the showdown meta. Tis the showdown meta. Ooh, giving Bagels a little bit of a tricky time. Ooh, it's gonna get him. Nicely done. Didn't even need to proc Honeycoat. I believe he got eight kills. Yeah, aggro eight kills. What a legend. Let's head into the next one. So switching gears here to Skull Creek. I believe he goes really aggro in this game as well. So Bagel's opting to get that first box to get a power cube in the chamber. Now pressuring the Nita, getting in real nice and close and taking down the Nita. We got a crow bush camping, but Bagel's already has five power cubes. Oh my goodness. Okay. The one really stressful thing about going up against a crow is honey coat won't save you. The poison damage will go right through the honey coat. You'll You'll prevent one of the chip damages, but if the chip damage keeps going, you're just going to end up dying. But Bagels now has eight boxes. He stole all those boxes, man, and off to a really, really good start. Taking down the M's. Bagels makes uh, B look so freaking good. What the heck is going on? So procking the mines, taking care of those. And I think he's in a pretty decent spot to take this game all the way. <laughs> when a when a bee has 11 part cubes, you wanna <laughs> you wanna tuck tail and run the other way. <laughs> so still has honey coat. Daryl only taking him down to 4,000 health. And again, bagel sitting nice. He I, this is a very stress free game if you ask me. It really uh, goes to show how important it is to get a good start in showdown, right? Getting off to a good lead, whether that's killing a few people or stealing some boxes. If you get five in the chamber right off the get-go or something like that, you should be pretty, 
pretty well off compared to the other brawlers that you're going up against. So Bagel's literally just walking up on the Leon. Doesn't give a crap. <laughs> Takes him down one shot. Easy peasy. 15 power cubes up against which brawler? Another camping camping brawler? It's the bow from earlier. <laughs> and I think the bow is in a rough spot here. <laughs> so Bagels uses his last gadget, I believe, and Bo submits. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bagels is running showdown, at least in the games that I'm seeing right now. Only getting five trophies per win. Pretty dang crazy, seven kills that round. Let's get into the next one. So our next match here is in Scorched Stone. It looks like a B 1v1 right off the get-go, unless they start teaming. Again, got <laughs> okay, never mind. It was a bait, a total bait. I'm not sure what Bagels does. I know um, he teams a little bit here and there, but I've seen much worse. I actually like the way that Bagels plays Showdown. He plays really, really aggro. Reminds me a lot of Money Capital, and you guys know how much I love Money Capital gameplay. It's so much freaking fun. So heading in on the Colette, taking down the Colette, and once again, Bagels off to a really, really good start right off the get-go. He has five power cubes, seven brawlers remaining. So we're in the robot modifier, so that's always... A little bit challenging for B. She's not very good at taking down the bots or the robots. So opting to go toe to toe up against this Colt. Still hasn't put a uh, procced Honey Colt, landing a stinger shot on the Colt, and Colt is turning around the other way. Doesn't want to mess around with that, and I wouldn't either. <laughs> so here we go. The Colt has seven power cubes. I think Bagels is just saying, "I like your power cubes. I want them." Please and thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, Bagels um, switching out the gadget in this go. Maybe he uses them determining or uh, based on what map he's playing in, right? I'm not sure. I know both gadgets are stellar for showdown. Both of them will be completely fine, whichever one you have. So be stacked in this game mode for sure. Bagel's trying to avoid the attention of the robot. It looks like it's on a Primo. Landing the shot on the Primo. Nice shot. How much damage is Bagel's doing? A crap load. <laughs> there we go. Another B. Almost the just the regular shot, not the stinger shot, was almost enough to take down the B with zero power cubes, of course, but still crazy. So slowing down the B and another very aggro game. You gotta love it. Bagels is freaking thrashing right now. Crazy. Let's head to another one. All right, so this map here is Safety Center. I believe this is our fourth game, and guys, stay tuned. We're gonna be playing some gem grab here in the next match. So I'm very excited. I've never seen Bagels play gem grab, so we'll see. How that goes so here we go up against a jackie this map definitely a little bit challenging um with the tankier units bagels has to kind of pressure in and cut corners find weird weird angles and try to maximize on pressure in that way but bagels has three power cubes not too shabby right off the get-go and a daryl rolling into the middle i think um he really prioritizes just trying to get that stinger shot in the chamber it's like the best protection you have as B, that little shining B, telling the enemy that you have your stinger shot back away. <laughs> but you know what? Bagels don't need that protection because he has six power cubes. Using the gadget to try to pressure out the B a little bit, getting some good damage there. Pressuring the B with the help from the Poco. So using another gadget, trying to take down the B. I think Bagels just didn't want to mess around with that stinger shot. Never... Never look down upon any power cube B. They deal damage no matter how many power cubes they have. So taking down the Colt there. Now has eight power cubes. This is crazy. Okay, Daryl is camping. But Bagels knows. Oh my gosh, the damage. It's too much. <laughs> so it's a 1v1 against another B. Ten power cubes to two. We'll see who comes victorious here in the end. I got my money on Bagels. <laughs> So the other B using their second gadget or third. We really only have seen two um, from the gameplay so far. So here we go. Bagel's just trying. You can tell he's being very, very careful with this B. He doesn't want to give the other B a stinger shot. So now Bagel's in the driver's seat. I believe he can one shot. But we don't know if she has honey coat procced or not. All right. Yeah, see? That's doing some good damage. Doesn't matter how many power cubes you have. All right. So Bagel's has stinger shot this time around they're just trading blows at this point so here we go trying to figure out where the b is and the cool thing nice cutting that corner 
The Stinger Shot has a really weird hitbox. You can get people around corners most of the time, but heading into our gem grab match, I'm very excited about this one. So heading into our match of gem grab, as you can see, he's playing a few different 3v3 game modes and he's incredibly high up on ladder at 1,800, 900 through his grind here. So heading into a match, 1,901 trophies up against Anita, a Mortis and a Amber. So they're rocking the team comp B, Carl and Mr. P. Definitely a really good team comp on this map. Carl is a freaking demon in the side lanes, throwing around the uh, pickaxe around those walls. So no one's really safe. And then you pressure up and then the spawn trap is just unbearable. Um, so it looks like the Mortis is kind of lagging out. I'm not quite sure, but here we go. The Amber coming back into lane. So is the Nita, and when this happens, I feel like uh, it's really hard to get out of a spawn trap. Um, so I'm assuming Bagel's team should just be able to hold this down for the entire match. We'll have to wait and see. I think the Mortis really dropped the ball on this one, not being in lane. Going up against a good team comp and a good team, like Mr. P, Carl, and B, it's really important to establish lanes. Get everyone in there in the lanes that they should be in and try to control and find an opening. But it's a, if it's 2v3 and the enemy team can get posted up and hold down their lanes, it's pretty much as good as done, <laughs> and the Mortis is giving up. So here we go, Bagels just needs one more gem. So here we go, almost taking down the Nita. So he was using the first star power or the second star power, not Honeycoat. <laughs> so now he's done a very, very easy match, which must have been a pretty big treat for Bagels up that high up. I wouldn't even want to imagine pushing up at 1,900 trophies in 3v3 game modes. I'd be crap in my pants. <laughs> But here we go, heading into the next match. So time for a little Stormy Plains action here for our next match. Bagels does warn us that there's going to be a tiny bit of teaming involved in this match. You all know by now that I don't condone teaming. I don't necessarily love it. I get annoyed whenever I see teaming in my matches, but I'm, I, I understand what Brawl Stars is. When you're this high up in trophies, it's very hard not to come across teaming. So Bagels just kinda going with the meta. So make sure to keep that in mind and we'll be the judge whether or not it's malicious or not or anything like that. So here we go. Bagels off to a pretty decent start. Three power cubes, not too shabby. The most out of all the brawlers that we can see in plain sight right now. So Bagels has his stinger shot. It's looking fairly decent for him. He's going to try to pressure this Jackie. We'll see what happens here. All right, chipping down that Jackie fairly low. We have a camping Carl bottom left and Bagels is kind of in the middle of things right now. Oh my goodness, it is a spin fest <laughs> right now. There's a lot of people spinning. Okay, so it looks like the team has been made between Carl, Jackie, and B. Unless the Colt and the Tara are gonna get tossed into the mix. <laughs> my goodness, five people teaming. All right, so how does this play out? You guys, I don't team in Showdown, so I'm not really good at it. Like, like, strate like strategically, I really don't know like how people even take first place or place very high if they end up teaming. So Bagel's opting to take down the Tara. All I know is when you're teaming, it's not really good to show people that you backstab, um, like someone that you just got done spinning with because then you can't be trusted. You'll be the one that gets ostracized, right? So we have Carl there with two power cubes. Is Bagel's gonna go in for it? We'll see, we'll see. We got a Rosa with one power cube. It is a team of four. So we got Crow, Colt, and Carl. So they made it to the top four. I guess, you know, you just take first place once you start going. Oh my goodness, the, the Colt <laughs> backstabbing there in the end. <laughs> and we'll see. I think Bagels should take first place here, right? Are they going to take down each other? And then Bagels going to clean things up there as the Carl take second place so a little bit of teaming nothing crazy though but yeah everyone those are the matches i have for you today bagels on his grind to 3,000 total trophies on one brawler it's pretty dang crazy to even say out loud so we'll see if bagels manages to achieve it hopefully he did when you guys are seeing this at the point that i'm recording it but a huge huge good luck to bagels for going for things uncharted some uncharted territory here in brawl stars so once again huge props to bagels hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did make sure to slap a like on it i really really appreciate that and yeah with that being said have a fantastic rest of your day keep having fun with brawl stars and we'll see you in the next video peace out you guys Pssh.